we've got it mixed up. Remember, this is one of those things where you put in part A, tamp it down to the line, put in part B, tamp it down, give it a, a good minute and a half stir. So now we'll go ahead and smear some on. I'm going to start out with my putty knife first. We're only going to come up to the uh, top here. We'll get it good and filled in and then come back and because I got a canner lever over the floor here, I'll have to keep an eye out for dribbles. I'm going to go ahead and give this a preliminary shaking. I'm probably going to stop at that point and then sand down. If I have to come in uh, on a second coat, I will. But like, like I said earlier, it's uh, we're not making NASCAR racers here. We want just something that's uh, purposeful. second coat. I'll go ahead and let this cure and then I'll come back and touch it up tomorrow on the next coat. Until then. Well I have the rudder finished and I've got it smoothed down. I had some spots here where the when you get a little bit of shrinkage on the uh, lose this thing here uh, on the uh, slow fare uh, I took my little low angle plane and then just scraped it down along here and so now I have a a fine edge. I mean, I could spend another two or three hours if this was like a laser class or some really special class, but for, for this boat, it's more than adequate. And like I said, you can, you can see the, the shape you can get by doing the leathering, uh, the leathering, the layering of each of these pieces, and then uh, just fill in the little stair steps with the uh, easy fillet, or uh, in this case, I use slow fare. And, uh, I got some nails here that hold it in place because now I'm in the process of let me move here. I brought in the uh, the rudder off the uh, O and P pod. You can see the shape. I, I should have a lot more room in here, but I was trying to cheap out on the on the plywood I used uh, or the amount I was using. But I wanted to bring in my uh, the rudder tiller combination so I could remember how I built the uh, the tiller arm which was basically just some uh, scrap pieces made out of the curves. When we do the uh, cutout of all these curved panels, you've got these little waste pieces on the end that are usable. And so I'll uh, I cut them out. Let me reset up over at the workbench and I'll show you what I've done so far. I have all the pieces cut out. I mean, the rough shape. I wanted to get a, just a, a basic idea of the shape uh, and uh, I'll do a lot of fine tuning with the plane and rasp when I get done, but we're going to have an outside, inside, some spacers that will go in, and another inside part, another outside part, and then back here where the tiller head goes, there will be sandwiched on either side so that the hole or the, uh, the wood that the bolt goes through that bolts it to the uh, rudder will have at least a half an inch of uh, plywood on either side. So I've uh, 
got a 2x6 clamped down at the workbench. Remember, we want to keep this thing straight. And I got some Visqueen on it. And when we come back tomorrow, it's late in the day now, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use my little uh, uh, pin nailer to put this all together so I don't have this big clamp mess. Uh, I'll probably put some clamps on at the very end, but while I'm going along, I'm going to pin nail it together because it's going to be out of the water. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about bleed through or rust. Let me get in here. You don't need to see me so much. Okay, I've got this this whole thing buttered up, and I used because I'm going to do it uh, one uh, just one coat on one side. So I put a thick coat on, and I and I cleaned it out with my little serrated uh, tool. So now I'm going to put on my uh, the next layer. I already have this bottom one um, pin nailed with three pin nails. I used three quarter inch into the two by six underneath of it. And so now I've got to switch over to half inch. Now I'll butter on the next coat which will be the one with the gaps in it. Let me come back when we get ready to put those on. Okay, now we start with our spacers. And you'll notice down in here, if you can see that or not, I had to put in just a little bit of waste product in there. nice to have this thing to keep that sliding around so let me go ahead and butter up the next layer and we'll come back on that one. Okay I got a little wedge in here oh. and then kind of keep an eye of where you're you're at stack wise so that The final little uh, trim down will be even, and you're not going to have, you know, a hole in the middle that you got to either fill up or trim it down to make it a lot thinner. So if the sides are a little thin, that's fine, but if you don't want the middle to be come up short. Okay, we have the top one on. It's all buttered down, and if you use your little serrated uh, tool here, uh, as long as it leaves nice little ridges behind, you have enough on there to spread out when you compress the two pieces. But now on this piece you want to make certain make certain that it's lined up, but this one is going to be the crux because it needs to be lined up on the end because these are uh, critical distances here. So I will go ahead and lightly put in a piece I need to put on get out of the picture here, was the thickener for this uh, for the tiller head itself and on that I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick a clamp to hold it together and then tomorrow I'll flip flip it over and put on the its matching partner on the other side and then uh, We'll come back when we're shaping it up, but otherwise that's enough for this right now.